I'm Anil Kumar and we will try to simplify the trigonometric expression cos of 3 pi by 4 plus x plus sine of 3 pi by 4 minus x. So we'll use cos a plus b and sine a minus b formulas to expand and simplify. Now what is cos a plus b? It is cos a cos b minus sine a sine b. So let us expand. So we get cos of 3 pi by 4 times cos x minus sine of 3 pi by 4 sine x. Now let us expand the second term sine of 3 pi by 4 minus x which is sine of 3 pi by 4 cos x minus cos of 3 pi by 4 sine x. Now what is cos 3 pi by 4 and sine 3 pi by 4? 3 pi by 4 means 1 pi by 4, 2 pi by 4, 3 pi by 4. That means we are talking about our terminal arm being in second quadrant. Now in this quadrant, the acute angle is pi by 4, right? Now here, you know that all are positive in quadrant 1, sine in quadrant 2, tan in 3 and cosine is positive in quadrant 4. So that means that sine 3 pi by 4 is equals to 1 over square root 2 whereas cos 3 pi by 4 is equals to minus 1 over square root 2 since it is negative right 3 pi by 4 acute angles pi by 4 you can consider the isosceles triangle 1 1 square root 2 correct so that is what we are going to consider so let us write 1 over square root 2 for 3 pi by 4 or cos 3 pi by 4 now, you could also write instead of 1 over square root 2, you can use square root 2, square root 2, and 2. Now, that is better to use. So, we'll use square root 2 over 2 for these values. I'm saying that you have to rationalize this, right? So, when you rationalize, you multiply by square root 2 and square root 2. So, you get this. So, let's replace cos 3 pi by 4 with negative value. That is negative. So, we get here negative square root 2 over 2 of cos x. In this case, sine is positive, so we get square root 2 over 2 of sine x. In this case, we get plus sine of 3 pi by 4 is square root 2 over 2. Sine is positive in this quadrant, cos x. And this is negative, so negative and negative becomes positive square root 2 over 2 sine x. Right. So that is what we get. Now from here, you can see that these terms will add to 0, right? On the other hand, these terms, they will also add to 0. So basically, we get this is equal to 0. So cos 3 pi by 4 plus x plus sine 3 pi by 4 minus x is indeed equals to 0. So that is what we get. Thank you.